Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to take a look at plotting. I am going to start with line plots. Let's create an array x from 0 to 2 pi with the decimation of pi by 10. We will create another array y that will be the sign of each of the terms in array x. Now we are going to plot using plot function x and y. As you can see single cycle sine wave is generated in a figure 1. Now I am going to label x label as x and y label as sine of x. Let's give it a title as sine plots. Now if you see the graph you will see their x label, y label and the title label has been populated. We will plot it again but this time we are going to change the line to a dotted red line. This can be done by putting a line specification r dash dash into this. Notice that the titles and labels that you define for the first plot are no longer in the current figure window. By default MATLAB clears the figure each time you call a plotting function. It resets the axis and other elements to prepare the new plot. We can add multiple plots into a single plot by using a command called hold on. By using hold on, I am going to define another array, say z, as the cosine of x. Now I am going to plot the same z onto the same plot where I have plotted the sine plot. Now I am going to color this cosine wave as green. As you can see, the cosine has been plotted on the same plot with the sine wave. 3D plots. 3D plots typically display a surface defined by a function in two variables. Let's define two variables x and y using a mesh grid of from minus 5 to plus 5 with a division of 0.5. Now let's define a z as a function of x and y in the following equation. Now let's plot x, y and z using the function surface. As you can see a line is plotted and each surface is colored and the change in the surface is colored differently. Let's do the similar thing using the function mesh. So we are going to plot x, y, z using function mesh. Both the surface function and mesh function display surfaces in three dimensions. Surface displays both the connecting lines and the faces of the surface in color. Mesh produces wireframe surfaces that color only the lines connecting the defining points. Subplots One can display multiple plots in different subregions of the same window using the subplot function. The first two inputs to subplot indicate the number of plots in each row and column. The third input specifies which plot is active. For example, to create a four plots in a 2x2 two two grid window we are going to do the following. First, let's take a random example. I'm going to create a time array from 0 to 2 pi with a division of pi by 10. Now I'm going to create a cylinder and export their x, y, z 
to the variables x, y, z as follows. Now I'm going to call subplot as 2 to 1 saying that the 2 by 2 grid with the first plot active I'm going to plot mesh of x. Similarly for the second plot I'm going to plot mesh of y. Similarly, for third plot, I'm going to plot mesh of Z. And finally, for the fourth plot, I'm going to plot mesh of X, Y and Z. As you can see in the plot graph, the first plot is the plot of x, the second plot is the plot of y, the third plot is the plot of z and the fourth plot is the combined mesh of x, y and z. This is how a slope plot works. This concludes our video on plotting but there is lots and lots of things that we can do using plotting. For that, stay tuned for the subsequent videos. In the next video, we are going to take a look at programming and scripts. Till then, please subscribe and thanks for watching.